Hex is a platform for doing collaborative data science and analytics with Python, SQL, and no code. Let's say I'm a data scientist at a dumpling restaurant and I need to build a predictive model to forecast our monthly dumpling sales. We're actually gonna start by pulling in some data from Snowflake with a SQL cell. I can see all the columns I have available using this schema browser and it's integrated with all my DBT models and docs so I know exactly what data I'm working with and I can join in another table and go and check out the docs on that too to make sure I'm referencing the right column name. All that metadata is also available in the autocomplete and type ahead just like any good SQL IDE. This looks great, so I'm gonna rename this data frame and then keep transforming this data in another SQL cell. Hex lets you chain SQL so you can write queries against previous SQL queries. And this removes the need for clunky CTEs and makes complex iterative analysis possible in raw SQL without pandas. But if you do wanna use pandas or anything in Python, Everything is polyglot in hex. So if I wanted to make a rolling average in Python instead of SQL, I can just add a Python cell like this and use that same data frame from the SQL query. And this pandas operation outputs a data frame. And notice how when I reran that SQL query, my new Python cell also ran. Hex has a graph-based reactive execution model. So anytime any cell is run, all the relevant children and parent cells are also automatically re-executed. This makes apps really performant and snappy and prevents any state-based confusion. So now let's make a quick visualization of this data using a chart cell and we'll detail by category so we can see where revenue is coming from. It looks like it's mostly dumplings, which tracks since we're a dumpling shack after all, but it's still good validation that we're predicting the right thing. I'll load up a table display cell to visualize the whole result set since this is going to be an interactive app soon, and I want users to be able to explore the raw data. And now let's build that predictive model. It's really nothing fancy. We're going to just pull in the open source profit library and toss our data at it. I want to clean up the data a little bit since we're only interested in dumplings. I could do this in SQL or Python, but I'm going to use a UI based filter cell so that app users can have more interactivity with this. And there's a lot of no-code cells like this in Hex where it's possible to do something in Python or SQL, but for less technical users or for end users of a published app, it's a lot more convenient to use something UI-based to pivot or map or filter. So now we've got our filtered data frame of non-spicy dumplings and we can start cleaning it up for prediction. Profit expects data in a really particular format, so we're gonna rename some columns and fit a new profit model. And now we can make a data frame with some future dates to predict against. I want this to be user configurable, so I'm gonna add an input parameter here. There's a ton of different input parameters to configure basically any kind of interactivity from dates to buttons, even a full Excel style table input, but here we're just using a simple number. And now we can parameterize our future date code with this variable and our app will be dynamic to user input. So we'll run this cell to create predictions from the model and then we'll be able to plot it on a map. Oh, it looks like my colleague Marie just jumped into this app. I wonder what she's up to. I can see that she's taken over this cell so that we don't step on each other's work, but I can still see her changes live and she doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, it looks like she left a comment. She's concerned about seasonality in the data set, but she doesn't seem to realize I've already aggregated at the month level, so this isn't a concern. I'll reply and resolve this comment, but I'm really glad she thought to reach out. Okay, let's get back to it. So now we've trained our model, which took a few seconds to run, and we can predict out a couple of years and plot this output on a chart. And we can test out that input parameter to make sure everything works properly. And that reactive execution model makes sure that only downstream cells run, so everything's really, really quick to explore. Awesome. So. Now we've got all of our building blocks and it's time to turn them into an app that I can share. So tabbing over to the app builder, we see that Hex has already laid out our app automatically and it's not bad, but I'm gonna make a few tweaks and drag and drop some stuff, change the alignment and add a little bit of context on the app. I can also remove any cells that I don't wanna display in the app. You can choose exactly which cells to display so you can make apps that are really neat and curated. And everything looks great, so let's publish it. This is the first time we're publishing this app, but if it was an existing app, this diff view would show all the changes that I made. And Hex actually integrates with GitHub, so you can even require pull requests for changes to production apps. I've got fine-grained group-based access control, but 
I'm actually going to share this with all of you lovely people. So I'll toggle share to web to make it public. And now this app is instantly live and interactive for anyone in the world to use.